this is Frida welcome to my channel this is part two on how to knit my green uh, vest that I always wear okay uh, unfortunately I couldn't say goodbye at the end on part one <laughs> my cartridge uh, I didn't have enough room so I will try to put how to put um, I will try to put the part that did not fit on uh, how to do the buttonholes so I will put them somewhere here and before I do that I just wanted to show you just be careful when you're casting on remember we cast on 32 stitches see how high it is compared to this but that's okay we will fix that no worry the um, it will uh, be on the yeah when uh, what we're going to do is now we're going to sew the shoulders and this is how it looks like Ta-da! <laughs> yeah, I put my label already. So what I'm going to do is see how how much it should be equal. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew it like this. And then it will be like this. So nothing to worry about. But just to be on the safe side, I would uh, have them equal. Because I am doing the tutorial, always this happens. Okay, so before I do that, I will put the part when I, I was showing you how to do the buttonholes. And I will sew this up and I will come back. And then we will pick up stitches to do the sleeves. And I uh, just wanted to point out 50 gram of the yarn. I have still this. And plus I have another ball of yarn. So I have lots of yarn to uh, knit the sleeves. And I'm going to make long sleeves for this. And uh, we'll go from there. So I will put the part how to do the buttons. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I am picking up stitches. And I forgot to tape it. So I'll show it over again. I'm just using a crochet hook to help me. because uh, So what I do is I poke my crochet hook. And I grab this. And then I continue picking up stitches. Just like this randomly. Just like this and I grab my circular needle here I don't want to pick up too many so I give it a space between and I just want to point out that I do not I do not like this yarn at all this is the first time I'm knitting with this yarn and it's it's terrible double knitting the reason uh, why I'm saying is because when I, I knit it and uh, it doesn't get it doesn't the yarn doesn't relax it doesn't look nice when you finish it can you see usually my knits my knit is perfect but I think it's the yarn like it doesn't look I can see space between I feel like I knitted with different uh, needle sizes. That's what it feel, looks like. I don't know. So I'm blaming the yarn. I don't like this yarn. And I don't think I would buy it again. And I bought this at a local yarn shop in uh, Kelowna. Years ago. So I just pick up randomly. I don't want it. I want to give some space. Just like this okay so I will uh, pick up all the stitch and I'm going to knit with the circular needle it's so easy and uh, even to sew this it took me time this one shoulder uh, what 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 you can do is I just thought about this like you can knit start with a different uh, pattern like a lacy pattern and then when you do the front, you can continue knitting like this. Remember, I did a tutorial on how to knit this stitch. I really like the stitch, the way it looks. And it gives you that uh, different look with the lacy. So I'm planning to make a cardigan with this, maybe for a one-year-old or over. 
So I'm going to continue knitting and I will do, use the same technique and uh, I will continue knitting this. So you can make something like this, like you can play around with it. It doesn't have to be the way that I have showed you like this way. You can, you know, put patterns on and then you can go from there. Okay, let me grab. So I will pick up stitches and I will come back and uh, I will show you how to knit the sleeve. Okay, so I have picked up stitches just like this. So when we're knitting around, remember um, we, knit, we knit it like this on both sides to create that purl stitch. But when we knit that this way, we, we won't get that same look. So what we're going to do is we're going to purl from the front. Purl just like this. And we're going to do that all the way until we finish the sleeve. But because this is going to be a sleeve, I am going to do some decreases. And uh, usually for adults, I do about 10 rows. For a baby, I would do for five rows. Every five rows, I would do uh, two decrease. Uh, and where where is my underarm? And I usually do it under the arm. Okay, and I can't find my underarm. Here we go. So it's right, yeah, it's right where we did the um, increases. Here we go. The three stitches. Can you see? Three stitches, you can see. Yeah, <laughs> looks nice. Okay, so we're going to pick up stitches here, right here. So I will pick up stitches and I will show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm going to knit all the way around and I will come and show you how to pick up, uh, not pick up stitches. I'm going to do my decrease because I need to start my, I should have done it here. Yeah, let me do it first here and then I will knit five rows and every five rows I will do my decrease. So it will give you that nice uh, look on the sleeve. Okay, here we go. So, where are we? We're here, we're right here. Let me just remove this. And then... So... I am going to pick up stitches, just uh, not pick up stitches, do my decrease like this. So after uh, five rows later, when I knit five rows, I will do my decrease again. I will pick up three. Uh, I will. <laughs> I'm sorry. I keep on saying pick up. I will do the decrease every uh, five rows. I will get rid of these two stitches. So it gives that nice look. So I will knit and I will come back to show you how the sleeve looks like. And we will go from there. And uh, before I do that, I wanted to show you the sweater. Um, well, mine is a vest, but this is going to be a cardigan. See? how it looks it gives that nice uh, round edge when I, when you wear it yeah i might knit one for myself again cuz uh i noticed the this one that i'm wearing the yarn is getting thinner cuz it's getting old right i've been wearing it for years and i put it in the washer and it's this one's ac acrylic so let me, I will check my stash. I think I have a nice burgundy I found the other day. A uh, cotton blend. I will uh, knit with that. And then I can always show it to you in the new f uh, the future. Okay, so I'm going to knit. And I will come back to show you how the sleeve looks like. It's going to be a lot of knitting done. I tried to post uh, the part that I was... Uh, uh, taping for the buttons but it, it uh, for some reason technical problems so what I'm going to do is uh, I can see it on my uh, uh, 
what you call this uh, f Google Photos so I can see the tape that I taped that part so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it and then you will watch it from here I do apologize but I have no other choice so here is the part how to do the button holes Together. I'm not going to do a yarn over because I don't want the hole to be huge. And then again, I'm going to knit one, two stitches, and I'm going to knit together. I'm not going to do a yarn over because I don't want the hole to be huge. And then again, I'm going to knit one, two, three, four. Just had to go back because I'm gonna I'm gonna still do my decrease here. Like I'm gonna knit these two stitches together. So I'm going to do uh, four, and then I'm gonna knit two together. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then knit two together. So this is my second button hole. And this would be the third buttonhole. Okay, so I'm going to knit about three more rows. And meanwhile, I will knit these two together when I come back. And I will knit these two together. And I will come to show you how it looks like. Okay, so I knit about ten stitches. And I'm going to... Okay, so here is the card again. I finished knitting uh, one sleeve and now I'm going to start the other. This is really time consuming. Just want to point that out because the yarn being thin. <laughs> so um, yeah, if you want to knit for yourself, I would highly recommend something uh, worsted yarn so it would go faster. If you want to knit it like this, again, you can, like I said, you can try to knit it with any yarn you want, but not thin yarn because... Uh, yeah, you have to use smaller needles and then it takes time. It's all time consuming. Okay, so what I did is, and the thing is, I went around and around. That's another thing. So um, after uh, picking up the stitches, what I did is I uh, uh, took off uh, two stitches. I got rid of the two stitches. And I think I knitted more than five rows here, just to point that out. Because I stopped counting, but... Uh, yeah, so I did one, two, three, four, five. Actually, on the six. So on the six, I got rid of the uh, two row, uh, two stitches from both sides, from left and right. So I knitted three together, purled three stitches. And like I said, I did purl here. And automatically, when you do around and around, the inside becomes like a knit stitch. So or you can do the opposite. You can knit and then the other this part would be like purl and then I knit it again two four six seven after seven rows I got rid of uh, two stitches so two four five I got rid of two stitches and then five I went on and on until I had the length of my um uh, the length that I wanted the sleeve to be so I measured the three months old that I had so this is how it looks like from the back and this is how it looks like from the front so uh, this is all to it it's very easy like I said actually if you have the time I would highly recommend you to knit this uh, uh, this pattern uh, I made it up I don't think there's a written pattern I don't know like I really don't know <laughs> So I made this up. Maybe it's my own design. I don't know if it's out there, if there's a written pattern for this. But uh, like I said, I just measured one of my sweaters and I started from the shoulder and I just knit, knit, knit until, until I got to the underarm and I started to do increase. Yeah, uh, 
and then I picked up stitches or you can uh, knit stitches and then sew it either way would work so uh, as I've been getting so many comments can you do a tutorial on the green sweater you're wearing can you do a tutorial on the vest you're wearing so here it is and unfortunately like I said it's time consuming so I showed it showed this on a baby card again just to show how it looks like so I hope you like this tutorial another thing is uh, I did the neck area on mine I didn't let me show it to you so what I did is I just went you know I just I didn't do the neck area yeah let me see if I can it's too big you see so I just bind off at the end the the length that I wanted so that's all to it so you don't have to do a neck area just to sh wanted to share that I don't know I showed you on this one maybe you wanted to do a neck area but you don't have to like what you can do is you can knit the length you want and then you can just you know bind off just like that and mine is a vest so mine is open so with this one we put buttons on Again, it's up to you. You can uh, use your judgment and you can go from there. But uh, like I said, you don't have to do a neck area. You can just bind off and then it will go like this. The main thing is this area is around the edge. So it gives you that nice curvy, uh, nice look. And then uh, that's all to it. So I hope you like this short tutorial. I wanted to share. And uh, I wanted to share for years. <laughs> Finally, I'm trying to catch up with my... Uh, tutorials because uh again uh these are all time consuming and i have the most time <laughs> that i have available <laughs> so uh that's why i'm trying to share one tutorial every day and then we'll go from there so uh if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share with your family and friends and happy knitting stay home stay safe i know it's tough Yesterday I had to go to the post office to drop a package and uh, yeah, the, the distance, no one's following up with it. I noticed that while I was walking, like there were kids walking, uh, there were bicycling and uh, I don't know, I don't know how people do that, but uh, yeah. So uh, stay, stay, stay home, stay safe, try to be distanced with the uh, people and uh, take care. Happy knitting. <laughs>